So the lease liability then, we know it's the present value of lease payments, we know fixed goes into it, we know those unavoidable uh, in substance fixed ones also go into it. Now, what else goes into the lease liability? The variable payments, okay, these variable payments. But the only ones that go into the lease liability are those variable ones that are based upon a rate or an index, such as the CPI, the Consumer Price Index, inflation, such as LIBOR, such as interest rates. Market rates could be based on market rentals. Okay, so if it's based on those, then you do include it. Now, think about this little example. So this is our lease, and initially we make a payment of 100 but that varies with the consumer price index uh, and it's 100 per annum and it's a five-year lease and the CPI is now standing at 200 or whatever what you've got to do then is you bring in the variables at five times 100 discounted down because it's always the present value of the lease payments okay what you don't try and do is try and estimate what the CPI will be next year. Because let's say next year it goes up to 220, i.e. it goes up by 10%. Well, so will our payment. Our payment will go to 110. But we don't try and guess that. What we do is we keep it at 100. We change it in the future, but what I'm talking about is originally, initially, we keep it at the 100. We don't try and guess the future. The reason behind that, um, the ISP said, was just simply because it'd be too costly to try and work it out all the time. So when it's changed at the end of next year, well, your lease liability will have changed then. So next year, your lease liability would be four lots of 110 discounted down. Okay, so you, you, you re-measure the uh, lease liability. But originally, you keep it at the 100.